And welcome to Boston Seniors Count. I'm your host, Fran Janine. And you know, on our show, we believe that you are the foundation on which Boston was built. So our goal is to connect you with resources, benefits, and every type of information that might be of help to you. And also to enhance your life. We thank you for joining us. You know, every week we bring on different guests and we have different information for you. And today, my guest is Janet King. She's of the Hyde Park Food Pantry. I want to welcome you to the show. Thank you, John Fran. I really appreciate you taking time. I know you have a busy schedule. Of course, the grandkids come first, right? And the great grands. <laughs> and the great ones, right, you have to do with that. Janet's been around in Boston all your life. Janet mm -hmm. worked with something with me way back, back in the years 70s, ago. Yes. In the 70s. But now you are in charge of the food bank. Food pantry. Excuse me, the food pantry. Food that was pantry. my the emergency <laughs> food pantry. Let, let's go back for a second. Where did they even start a food pantry from? The food pantry started in the neighborhoods among the churches. Oh, different all denominations. Churches. Uh -huh. And there was a need. And there was a surplus of food, and they gathered it together. Uh -huh. And you could go in and apply, tell them how many in your family, right? and they would give you what they had. I see. So that's how and it originally started. It started, and it's expanded. And we have the Greater Food Bank in Boston, the Greater Boston the Food one, Bank, right. the big that's one, where big they building. get the main donations, right? and we get weekly supplies from them. That goes out to all the food all pantries? All the food pantries in the Greater Boston area. There's a lot of them. There are. And uh, um, the one I have is a small pantry. We're an emergency pantry. We get in Hyde Park. We give food for two, maybe three days, uh -huh. only to tide you over to your food stamps come in or your check comes in or whatever. OK. Um, then we have the larger pantries that can give you more. Right. We accept donations to, from the food bank, which has the big business and corporations, and a lot of people donate to them. And big companies, yeah. Uh, we have small donations, which are always welcome. But they, people have food drives. The stores have food drives. Uh -huh. And they bring the, the uh, produce and merchandise into us. So basically, then, anybody who wanted to donate some food yes, could really just Make a Put bag up. And make a bag up and to bring it in. And, and if you don't know where the food bank is, talk to somebody at your church. They're bound to know where it is. Right. And if they don't, a food pantry Between, locally? Yeah, locally. And they, they take, because it would have to be a closed. You know, it would yes. have to be closed. Everything has to be sealed. Right. If it's open, we have to dispose of it. Right. So in other words. I work on the premises. If I'm not going to use it. I'm not going to give it to somebody else to use. Right. So you Unless, wonder. of course, it's something I don't like. Well, that's But different. it's got to be sealed. Take a couple of these canned yeah. goods just to give uh -huh. an idea, Janet. Well, here somebody we have is cranberry sauce. We uh -huh. always check the sale date, the sale by date, or the shelf date. Okay. Shelf date means the food is, will start to deteriorate. Oh, really? We, okay. We don't hang on to that. Okay. Uh, sell by date. A canned good is good for six months, a year, or more. Really, it after still the can day. be used. Um, this particular can, I was wondering why we were having it donated. The labels on upside down. Oh, the can so should those be like were that. So they were donated. So and people will look at that and say, "Oh, I don't want that can." Oh, I it's see. It's perfectly what you good. Mean. Perfectly good, but it's just upside down. Upside down, yeah. So, but these all come from the food bank, these which is in Boston. These came from the Greater Boston Food Bank. Right. Our mainstay is peanut butter and rice. Right, which everybody loves. Loves. We so, have vegetables. We have mm -hmm. fruit, canned fruit. I think we're getting ready for Thanksgiving. We've got the stuffing. The but stuff. we will not keep it that long. Right, of course. Tell me now, 
Let's say that I um, was left with three children, and I, I know I need help. Where do I go? How do I get? Say um, I lived in Boston. Well, when your children were that age, small, yeah. you would have gone to the local priest or rabbi or minister, uh -huh. and he would either give you a voucher or refer you to where to get a voucher. Okay. Um, in High Park, the food pantry has just taken over issuing the vouchers themselves instead of people sending people up the hill to the Catholic Church. To the churches or whatever type of church and it is you had. We don't question your income. We ask if what services you receive. Yeah. Okay. Only I think it's a demographic because I have never turned anybody away because they don't get food stamps. They don't qualify for Medicare. They don't get a supplementary income. I've never turned anyone around. It I do not ask for them to what come. their income is. I don't yeah. consider it any of my business. But that must be, that must take a lot of coverage. It coverage does. Coverage for them to walk in. It does. And say they need help. We have them come in very embarrassed. Social Security doesn't go as far as they thought it would go. Uh-huh. Uh, we're not interested. You're here because you need help. Don't be embarrassed. You're going to meet your na neighbors. You might meet a relative. You might meet somebody you went to school with. Right. They're you all never there. Know. Yeah. They come and in. in one way or another, over the years, with your different your donations to different organizations, you've probably donated to the food bank. Right. In a roundabout way. Yeah. And so they come in to the door, the door and they uh, say, I need help. They say, we, need, you know, we do need help, and we ask, do you live, in our case, do you live in High Park? Okay. Being an emergency pantry, we only serve as High Park. You have other pantries that will serve the greater Boston area. You can uh, go in from any neighborhood and get assistance. Okay. In my case, if you don't live in High Park, I will give you an emergency bag, which is food for t about 24 hours, uh -huh. and then I'll, uh, I got a list of the pantries in the greater Boston area. I will ask you what neighborhood you come from. I don't say Dorchester. Dorchester is a multitude of neighborhoods. Sure is, yeah. So I find out what neighborhood you're from, what area in that neighborhood, uh -huh. and I'll look up and see if what the nearest bank is. And they can like go to that pantry food is. pantry is, right. And give you the address and the telephone number, because I do, most of them I don't have hours for, so I'll give you a telephone oh, number and say, yeah. call them. Uh -huh. And then they can find and out. And they can go. find out themselves. But meanwhile, you'd service them with some We free give them something to get to 24 hours. Hour thing, type of thing. Mm -hmm. OK, so now they've come in, and they want the food. And what do they got to show you? They show us proof of address that they live in High Park. Okay. Proof of how many people live with them. How would you do that? Uh, with the case of children, it's mass health cards. Oh, okay. Right. Uh, with adults, it could be a Medicare card. Or actually, with adults, we ask for uh, ma a driver's license, a mass ID. Um, do you have a lease? Because with the city of Boston, you have to list who's living in that property. Right. Yes. Uh, so there's a lot a of current bill that proves that you live in High Park, uh -huh. a utility bill, bill, or, bill or, or something, bill or something that, yeah. or something like that. Right. You know. And then you sit with them, and what happens? Oh, then somebody then helps we them. We record all this information. Okay. I have a master client list, and we. Um, I keep a list as they come in, so when a volunteer is available to take them into the back, into the pantry rooms, okay. I call them by name, and you, you take an, in the order that you come in. Uh -huh. I know. I was there one day. I couldn't believe it. There must have been 30 people in line. Easily. Unbelievable. We started, well, my records only go back to 1988. In March of 1988, we did, excuse me, March of 2008. Mm -hmm. uh, we only did 88 families that month. month. As of last Thursday, we had 183 families come in for the month. 183 still, families just for July, June? Yeah. Wow. And we still have Tuesday, last Tuesday and Thursday, right. and this Tuesday, coming up. Thir well, yeah. and Thursday. Right. And 
next Tuesday. Next Tuesday. I'm, it's growing, I think we're going to break 200 families this month. That's a lot of families. The families have grown. And that's just in a small community. Yes. I mean, every neighborhood has different mm -hmm. communities. So when they come in and you've now accepted them and they just, and then you hand them over to the volunteer. The is volunteer that and who takes them into the back. We have three rooms in the back. Uh, one handles, uh, has a cooler for the dairy products. Mm -hmm. Uh, we have two refrigerators too. Uh, we have shell. Uh, we have two, three freezers back there. Mm -hmm. We have um, multiple shelf area with the canned goods. Uh, we get a lot of pastry and uh, baked goods to, uh, donated. They're out there. Right. If they don't need refrigeration, they need refrigeration. They're in the refrigerators. Of course. Um, and we have the middle room, which is storage. Mm -hmm. It's strictly storage. Uh, we get fresh produce. It goes into that room because this is the coolest one of the three. Okay. And then we bag it up and We're put it out for them to take. Vegetables and stuff. There's vegetables, that. fruit, potatoes, mainstays of potatoes, carrots, and onions. Yes, love the potatoes, but we don't, the onions, the carrots. Uh, we get heads of lettuce. I call them bowling balls. Oh, my God. <laughs> but see, this is all stuff that people yes. need. Yes. And... Uh, we really don't have the area to store them, so we have to have a quick turnover. Right, on them. Uh, in the front room, which is the more or less the office, because we have our fire cabinet mm -hmm. there, I have my record storage there. Uh, cleaning supplies are kept in a corner away right. from the food products. Uh, we have one, two, three, four, four freezers and a stainless steel cooler, mm -hmm. which we call it the egg keeper when we have eggs. When you have eggs. Eggs right. are in very short supply right now. Really? Milk? Do you get milk? On occasion, we get milk. Mm -hmm. That mm -hmm. never lasts long. We get rid of that. Just right. Perishables, we get rid of as soon as we can. Right. So basically, when they come, um, if you walk through it, you can get some juice. We, uh, most of the time, we have juice. We have a variety of canned goods. Uh, mainstay peanut butter, pasta, rice, various types of pasta, uh, beans. We have black beans, red beans, vegetarian beans, uh, refried beans. So what do they get, one can or two cans? Or? Depending on their food size, a uh, family of one to three will get one can of each. Of item. each. A uh, family of four is a gray area. They get a little extra if we have extra. Mm -hmm. Five, uh, families of five, six, seven, eight. I haven't had anyone larger than an eight. Mm -hmm. They get, they quote, five bags of food. That's wow. a supermarket bag. Mm -hmm. um, they go out with a lot more than that because we, we don't count ba baked goods, the bread, right, the rolls, so whatever we have. Right. Or, produce when we have that. These right. are things we don't always have. Right, but then if this, do you ever get coffee or tea? Is that considered uh, food? Uh, on private donations, we'll get the coffee. The food drives, we'll get the coffee, we'll get the tea. Get the tea, right. And that's put on, we have a shelf area in the back room, or we call the goodie shelf. Uh -huh. And you're allowed to take, depending on family size, one or two, or what the qu uh, whatever, whatever the quantity is we have. Right. Now, what about paper products? You don't. Give we don't handle paper products. Occasionally, we'll get a donation. One of the realty companies occasionally will donate cases of toilet paper mm -hmm. or paper towels, right. and we break it down, and everybody gets a roll. You might you? open a bag. Occasionally, we, most of the time, we try to have meat. We don't always, mm -hmm. and. It may be ground turkey, ground chicken, you know, and sometimes and you we keep get it a variety. Frozen. We keep, keep it frozen. So when it goes and out to the person, it's it is still frozen. Okay. And you'll open. We make up the bags. We really can't say you have your choice because we don't have the choice. Uh -huh. But we'll make up. Usually, try to put in three different types of meat. If you don't eat pork, I, I say please tell us, and we'll give you something else. Right. Uh, and I think that's mainly one product we ran mm -hmm. into with the meat. Right. Uh, we, you'll open, you go home, you'll open your bag of meat, and you'll find a roll of toilet paper. I, I call see, it the surprise. Mean, whatever you've <laughs> done, a yeah. type of different type of thing. Mm -hmm. So basically, they get the, the, the what they need is the meat, 
right? The protein. Yes. And there's vegetables. Trouble. There's spaghetti. There's spaghetti, rice. Spaghetti, rice. Right, the uh, tomato sauce. Tomato sauce. I've seen that. Mm -hmm. And the macaroni and cheese she, box. Uh, yes, macaroni and cheese. I, One of the biggest things um, everybody loves. Yeah, they didn't give me any to bring today. No, and you've got vegetables. Vegetables. And fruit. And fruit. Okay, we don't always have canned fruit, but mm -hmm. we try to. And the, I noticed that potatoes, the time I was there, they had bags well, of potatoes. Bags of potatoes. Onions. Bags of onions, um, carrots. Type of thing. Thing, and... And then you get donated from other companies. Companies, and yes. The bread goods. Yes, bakery items. So they get all kinds. We of used to get a good supply from um, Project Bread. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, Project Bread. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So basically, really, it's but a good choice. Local, local markets and bake goods. Right. Mm -hmm. But now, somebody listening, or say one of our uh, people who are listening, and you, they're thinking, gee, I could probably fill up a. a one of my stop and shop bags, or one of my, you know, whole food bags yes. filled with stuff, mm -hmm. canned goods or stuff. And all they have to do is just walk into walk the food in pantry. And give it to me. I will ask you your name. And you don't and have you to give address. it if you don't want to? No. I, no, you don't have to. But we like to send out thank you notes and an acknowledgement. And you don't sell their name all to anything? Known. No one. No one ever Nothing is it. ever sold. To find out. I do it. not pass out. I've, as a nurse, I've worked under the HIPAA regulations. So you and know. That's the regulations I use in the pantry. Right. See, Nothing that, is given out. Which is good because then somebody wanted to donate. Say they really mm -hmm. wanted to donate toilet paper or paper yeah. towels. What about soap? Do you ever get soap? I don't remember getting soap. I be soap or mm -hmm. soap. You, know, so you don't have that type of no. thing. So it's different, isn't it? Each it, pantry is different. Uh, some pantries do give cleaning supplies, but they keep track of what they mm -hmm. give you. Uh, the, uh, same with personal products. You mean for women? For Type women, shaving st supplies. Step, yeah. mm -hmm. Sometimes that's uh, donated. We do not give anything in the way of a medication, not even nothing. a Tylenol or an aspirin, nothing. nothing. Which is good, mm -hmm. because you never know where that's it's going to end up. If you need it, you go talk to your doctor, you talk to your pharmacist. Right. They can always make arrangements. Right. And you don't give paper and pencils and books and stuff like uh, that? Okay. Well, occasionally during, particularly when school opens, mm -hmm. but we're located in the um, municipal building mm -hmm. and they usually have school packages through the city to available. Give, donate to for the mm -hmm. different things. So basically and then, this is a program that is out there that people have to realize it's, it's there for them, mm -hmm. but also you could be one of the ones to help those who need yes. it. And nobody's going to ask you for anything. You just donate it. You bring it in if you want to. Yes. Which is really unbelievable mm -hmm. when you think about it. Because there are so many people who can use help. You know, how long has this been around, Janet? Do you remember? Uh, I don't know. In High Parker, in 1985. Wow. It was started with the three churches. Mm -hmm. The Catholic Church, the Episcopal Church, right. and the Presbyterian, Presbyterian Church. Church. And then from there, it's just, just grown. grown, and it's condensed, right? And now into it's in the one municipal place, building, right? Which is good. Mm -hmm. And I know they're in Rosendale. They have them in Jamaica they have Plain. One in, they right. have several in Jamaica Plain. They right. have uh, quite a few in uh, Dorchester. Dorchester. Yeah. Same with Brockton. There's a lot of them in Brockton, Brockton right? And they have uh, a lot of different e areas. even in Boston because you've got Catholic charities. Right. You've got. Uh, the famous one is 1010 Mass Ave. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Which is it's true. true. But people don't realize, don't be afraid to use it. That's the major thing. I well, mean, I may be wrong, but I say your taxes are paid for this. This is because true. Because I imagine the city has contributed quite a bit of money. Right, right. And so therefore, if you know somebody even that could really use it. Yes. You know, mention it to them. Mm -hmm. Tell them that you know, there are food pantries that are available. We do have one restriction. As I say, we deal with High Park. Uh -huh. I live in West Roxbury. I am not qualified to take anything from High Park. High Park, right. I'm glad to say I don't need it because I could go to the West Roxbury. Right, exactly. Food but bank. the idea is, though, that um, the bank... And uh, I push support your own area. neighborhood, right. yes. What we're looking for, though, also is volunteers to help out. Yes. Right. Now I they think would come all the to pantries you. could use volunteers. So they would have to go down and talk to the whoever's yes. in charge mm -hmm. and see whether they qualified to be a volunteer. 
Now, they're not going to get any money to be a volunteer. No. You don't get paid. No, you don't get paid. Okay. Uh, we do do help out people with community service, right. whether it's somebody from the courts or it's uh, the high schools uh -huh. or the colleges. Right. I think even the junior highs are doing community service, service now. Everybody is doing, which is good. And uh, mothers come in. I, my son and my daughter has to have something to do during the summer. Right. Can they help? Can they help? Right. And we try to work them in. Where do you get all the bags to carry all this stuff? I mean, people donate them. They do donate. The stores occasionally will donate a case. Oh, well, that's good. Uh, we go to BJ's and buy them. Uh huh. So in other words, it, it, because not everybody's going to come with a bag. Mm -hmm. Well, we request, we prefer you to bring your own bags, mm -hmm. cloth bags. Right, which are natural. Because easy. they last longer than the plastic. Right, yeah, and to carry your, your merchandise. Yes. Now, so in other words, they get all this and they walk out the door with it. And, and nobody questions you, them. We like it when they have uh, shopping carts. Oh, I see. They mm -hmm. can carry the stuff yes. out. Because uh, most of them have to go out to a car or, yeah, or, or mm -hmm. this, take the bus or whatever they're going to yeah. be doing. And no, we don't question because when they come in, they are escorted into the rooms. They're not allowed to go in on their own. Somebody volunteer goes with yes. them. Yes. I see. Uh, because we unfortunately we occasionally run into where they might take more than they're supposed, supposed to, to take. Right, yeah. And what they take, somebody else has to go without. Which makes it, when you look at it too, you say mm -hmm. to yourself, God bless them. They're looking at all this free food. Yeah, they, they see like, so two, much. three cases and they think, oh, I can take what I want. They really can't. Can't do it that No, because no. there's many more people. Yes. That are, so they wait their turn. Because we get uh, one more day left this month, and I expect another 30 or 40 families. Yeah. Because they haven't been. So they come in, and they get this merchandise, and they nobody says the anything to them? No. We, uh, as I said, they're escorted in, and right. they're, and escorted they're told out. what they're entitled to. Right. De depending on the family size, they can't come out. And then we have our, we have the produce pre-baked. We have cereal. They're told how many one or two boxes. Oh, they must love the cereal. Um, baked goods, bakery goods. Yeah. What they can take. Unbelievable. And um, then uh, I have yet to run into having to stop somebody because they've got more than what they're entitled to. Right. Right. I, I know it has happened, but myself, I have but fortunately not okay. had to do that. Right. Well, and we just want people to know that this is available to yes. them. Yes. Absolutely and positively. Janet runs the Hyde Park Food Pantry, but as you all know, they're all across the city. And don't be afraid. If you can't find one, call the Elderly Commission. Remember, you can call City Hall anytime. Um, because it's there, you know, and just and it's there, really. I'll uh, check with your uh, local church, right? And they'll tell you where to go, mm -hmm. which makes a big difference, you know, when you think about it. Yes. Right. But and also the people, if you want to do volunteer work, all the food pantries could use, use you. you. Yes. You know, when you think mm -hmm. about it, and you know, you say, oh, I can afford this. Somebody who can't afford a can of applesauce, or somebody who has mm -hmm. three children, mm -hmm. husband lost a job. You know, the wife's not working. And you think about them sitting in their kitchen. Saying, well, we've had them come in crying because they don't have any food. I'm sure. Yeah. I'm sure. It's, that's got to hurt you in the tummy, mm. right? Or hurt yes. you in the heart to think about that. Well, like, we thank God that food mm. pantries are around, really and truly, to help it, um, to help families. I had a gentleman come in one day. And this was several years ago, and he said, one to apply, and I said, we will have to go up to the Catholic Church to get mm -hmm. a voucher. He turned around and walked out before I could oh, say I anything. See. The ch church was strictly a place. They gave us office space. Right, just to do it, yeah. To it, issue the vouchers. It right. had nothing to do with a re religious affiliation. We're right. non-sectarian. Right, type of thing. Janet, I want to thank you for taking the time mm -hmm. today for explaining so much about it. And we want to thank all of our listeners for watching the seniors count you know it's brought to you by mayor marty walsh and our commissioner emily shea and really and truly the elderly commission is there for you don't be afraid to use it to contact them um, you can pick up the phone you can call city hall 615 excuse me 617-635-4366 or you can always do the mayor's 24 hotline 
24 hours, all you have to do is call. You have email, also remember the elderly. You know, it's very easy at boston.com. Or you can find us on Facebook. Uh, there's so many different ways. If you live in the Janet's mm -hmm. area, or if you live in another area, don't be afraid to go. If it can help you, please use it. We say God bless you, take care, and we hope we see you next time with another great show, Boston Seniors Count. Thank you, Janet. Thank you for having me. I think to myself, what a wonderful world. Yes, I think to myself,